Hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about topological sorting, a concept of graph. Topological sorting is a linear ordering of vertices which is performed in such a way that if there is an edge in the directed acyclic graph going from vertex U to vertex V, then it indicates that U will come before V in the ordering. It is also important to note that we cannot implement the topological sorting unless it is a directed acyclic graph. It means that the graph should be a directed graph and it should not contain any cycles in it. And there can be multiple different orderings for one particular DAG. Now let us consider an example for uh, implementing this topological sorting. So this is the DAG given. We can implement the ordering in various steps. First step is we have to write the in degree for each vertex. In degree is nothing but the number of edges incident on a particular vertex. That is the incoming edges for a particular vertex. So here we have in degrees labeled for each vertex. For A, no incoming edges. So we have 0. For B, 1 incoming edge. For D, 2 incoming edges. For E and C also 2 incoming edges. Next step is we have to find the vertex which is having the least in degree. So 0 is the least value and A is the vertex which is having the least in, in degree. Now remove the vertex A and also its associated edges and update the in degree of other vertices which is given here. So A has been removed. For other vertices the in degree is updated. So for B it is uh, 0 and for D and C it is 1 incoming edge and for E it is 2. We have to repeat this step. Next step is we have to consider uh, the next least uh, in degree vertex. So here we can see that B is having the least value and uh, remove the vertex B and its edges and then update the in degree of other vertices. So if we remove uh, B, we have um, C, D, E, its uh, updated in degrees are given. So for C and D, in degree is 0 and for E it is 2. Now we have uh, two uh, least in degree vertices. So we have to consider two cases. In the first case, we are removing C and its associated edges and update the in degree of other vertices. In the second case, we are removing the vertex D and its associated edges and update the in degree of other vertices. Both the cases are reflected here. So this is the case one where C has been removed and uh, in degree is updated. So for uh, D it is 0 and for E it is 1. Here D has been removed and for C in degree is 0 and for E it is 1. And uh, finally, uh, we have to consider both the cases and then uh, find the least in degree. In case 1, uh, D is having a least in degree. So if we remove D, automatically E's in degree also will become 0. So we are removing both in case of uh, 1. And similarly for uh, case 2 also, if we remove C, E also will become 0 and remove the remaining vertex E also. So both are uh, reflected here. So we have for case 1, A, B, C, D, E as the ordering. And for case 2, we have A, B, D, C, E as the ordering. So as a conclusion, we can see that we can have two different topological orderings for the given DAG that is A, B, C, D, E and for and the second case is A, B, D, C and E. Some of the important applications of topological sorting are uh, job scheduling, instruction scheduling, determining the order of compilation task and data serialization. So thus we have seen the concept of uh, topological sorting. Thank you.